so first things first i've been checking out a show called tokyo vice and i really recommend you check it out it's on hbo max but you can find it whenever you find shows and you stream online i don't know what you do out there and it's a super interesting show for anyone that's a fan of stuff like gomorra in that gomorra is like an insight or like a yeah like an insight into a culture into a you know criminal movement you know, organized crime in a certain sect in a certain area in italy obviously in sicily and you get to kind of get a kind of a look into how it kind of goes on through these kind of real you would say representations of what those people are like for the actors that they use some of them are mostly i think most of them are actually kind of amateur actors that they actually got from the streets who kind of did that as their sort of first gig or people that weren't that well known and it was a great way to kind of um, lift the lid on all that organized crime going on back in there right and i feel like tokyo vice does the same thing for japan and tokyo of course um it's based on this guy who wrote a book called tokyo vice also who was a journalist who happened to be one of the first foreigners ever to write for a very prominent newspaper out there in japan this prominent newspaper had a very particular way of reporting crime and organized crime and all those occurrences that happened in japan and tokyo with the yakuza and it wasn't very detailed it wasn't very investigative it was a very kind of um this happened this happened that happened sort of way very black and white very cold and no real follow-up he goes there obviously being an american that he is with his savior complex and wants to kind of uncover everything and just kind of see how things work over there and kind of gets given a kind of guided tour and gets basically taken under the wing by a police officer who's also kind of got a bit of a dodgy past a dodgy history a dodgy relationship with organized crime and through telling the story basically they're telling the story of organized crime through the prism of the reporter through the prism of the detective that he's kind of shadowing through people that he works with in the newspaper through relationship he's having and also through this um club where these girls are the hostesses right i think they have the it's a big thing they have over there in tokyo where you go to a club a girl will host you you know pretend to be your girlfriend basically pour you drinks light your cigarettes entertain your chat and then obviously you pay them a fee and um he kind of sees um various what various kind of ways people kind of interact and live in tokyo with this organized crime sort of cloud hanging over them in the yakuza and how it basically affects them in different sort of ways and it's ridiculously illuminating so much so this is the kind of show that immediately will get you opening a new tab getting on your phone finding out what yakuza is about the history of it organized crime suicide all this stuff like you'll be digging deep into it when you watch this it's really really illuminating and one of the things i like about it too is a tiny thing but it's something that i would kind of really appreciate because i love when it i'm a big fan of anything thrillers right when it comes to thriller stuff i'm a big fan of it but obviously when it comes to stuff involving you know um cops and robbers in terms of police dramas in terms of organized crime stuff like it's just all i'm all over it like high stuff i'm all over it for the longest time i was obsessed with the pink panthers this organized crime unit um or basically this um robbery group you would call it robbery group how do you call them but whatever you call them right organized crime unit or group of people who are mostly from the balkans who would go around stealing chime and diamonds and jewels and all these whatever things from crazy places um some of them is very brazen i think they did one in dubai where they smashed a car through the entire shopping mall came into the shop and stripped it whole clean they don't they rarely use weapons the, the pink diamonds also the same gang that ended up tying up kim kardashian in that paris hotel that time and stripping her of all her jewels so they're incredibly efficient incredibly brutal no incredibly efficient incredibly quick incredibly effective what they do um they have crazy disguises they're all from different parts of europe so they're able to kind of blend in with the populace um some of them are trained you know special forces all that kind of crazy shit like i'm a big fan of so i love it and i'm pretty sure i remember hearing that i think it might have been Leonardo DiCaprio leonardo dicaprio had bought out options for a book that's based on the pink the pink panthers that's coming out very soon so the reason why i say this is because i feel like some of those shows the reason why they're so incredible like gomorra being a good example of it is because they're actually written by people who are actually from there so gomorra is based on a book by uh roberto savistano i think that's his name right um he wrote a book about basically organized crime in italy and especially in sicily and the corruption that runs through the entire italian government and police force and whatnot and it's from first-hand accounts and it's from his kind of investigative journalism to the point where now he walks around with armed guards and he can't go anywhere and you know, I mean his family's in danger constantly 24 7 so it's a real legit account or the closest that you can get from the horse's mouth so when they depict it 
in a TV sense and they have him as a consultant still or as an EP, executive producer or whatnot, and they have other people from Italy too who are maybe from those areas or who know people from those areas writing the script, the characters feel way more real. Everything feels more higher stakes. You're way more invested in it because it actually feels like it could be a real thing and it actually has some weight behind it and it's also some fluffing. And I feel like this Tokyo Vice, what I was really happy about is when you see the end credits, you see mad Japanese names. So I'm sure a lot of them were involved because you know there's a lot of Japanese spoken in this show, but I'm still I'm still hoping that a lot of those people will stay on so that it will be a show that's kind of at least close to representing what's actually going on in Tokyo, what's actually going on in Japan overall, as opposed to just a sanitized version of what the West wants to see. Do you know what I mean? That's what I like about the show. It's amazing. And it's set in the nineties as well. There's loads of cool little references, music and things that they're listening to, the phones that they use. It's just really, really interesting. I really recommend you check it out. Um um, Tokyo Vice available now on HBO Max. So if you're a fan of Gomorrah, you'll definitely like Tokyo Vice, I think.